The purpose of the sway bar is to connect one side of the front suspension with the other side of the front suspension by using two lever arms and a torsion spring. It is a U-shaped steel bar that provides stability while driving and minimizes body roll during fast cornering and unexpected road bumps and potholes. I hope you guys are having the best day, Car Care Hacks here. In today's video I will be talking about the 5 symptoms of a bad sway bar. The first symptom of a bad sway bar is bad handling. If the vehicle starts to feel very unstable and spongy while driving, this is usually a clear indication that the sway bar is defective. The stabilizer or the sway bars do not have to be completely broken. Just a small amount of damage is enough for a big decrease in handling capability and stability. You can quickly defect a loss of traction when cornering and hesitation when trying to corner. This problem is especially noticeable at higher speeds. As a driver, you can feel that the vehicle is no longer stable and is being pushed by the wind. The second symptom of a bad sway bar is unusual noises. A bad sway bar will also cause rattling, clunking and grinding noises. This will be most noticeable as you drive over speed bumps, potholes and as you navigate through tight corners. These weird noises are mostly noticeable when the sway bar bushings are completely disintegrated and you can hear metal rubbing on metal. Sway bar links should always be without any play, without space to freely move. Before we continue, if you like the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. The third symptom of a bad sway bar is visual damage. If you are capable and know how to safely lift a vehicle with jack stands, then inspecting the sway bar visually may be the best option. You will easily see the condition of the rubber bushings, bands and the damage to the sway bar itself and the sway bar links. You should also try to grab the sway bar and try to shake it. If it feels solid and does not move around, it is probably in good condition. In that case, you should look at other suspension components that might be causing the same symptoms as a bad sway bar. The fourth symptom of a bad sway bar is uneven tire wear. Constant leaning and drifting around curves will cause uneven tire wear. Examples of uneven tire wear are ball spots on the tires or tires that are wearing out on one side more than the other. For example, the front tire is worn down to the white fabric on the inside but is perfectly fine on the outside. Tread wear like this will cause vibrations at higher speed. This is something that should be further inspected as soon as possible. The fifth symptom of a bad sway bar is strange braking behavior. When a vehicle brakes strangely, the driver quickly conducts that the brakes are defective. In many cases, this is also the reality. However, a defective sway bar can also cause this problem. If you brake and it's difficult to keep your vehicle on track, sometimes the brake are not only to blame. You can tell the vehicle starts to lurch and shake while braking. This can be a clear sign of a defective sway bar. 